Today's lesson is on probability. In this lesson, we will cover the definition of probability, language, probability scale, as well as two-way tables and tree diagrams. Probability is defined as the chance or the likelihood that an event will take place. Our formula for probability, also referred to as theoretical probability, probability is equal to number of ways an event can occur divided by number of possible outcomes. Example, if a coin is tossed, what is the probability of landing on heads? So we will say the event is tossing the coin. The outcome is the result. So the result, the coin may land on heads or tails. So the probability of landing on heads is equal to number of ways an event can occur. On that coin, we have just one head. So I'm going to say one divided by number of possible outcomes. So my outcomes can be either heads or tails. So it's going to be one over two. Remember that I can write probability as a fraction. I can also say probability of landing on heads is equal to 0, 0,5. So that's my decimal. I can also say probability of landing on heads is equal to 50%. So in probability, we may use fractions, decimals, or percentages. When conducting a probability experiment, we now have the concept of relative frequency. So our formula, relative frequency is equal to Number of times an outcome occurs divided by number of trials. Example, a coin was tossed five times. The results are shown below. So my coin on the first toss, the coin landed on tails. On the second toss, the coin landed on heads and so on. So a possible question is, what is the relative frequency of landing on heads? So I'm going to say number of times an outcome occurs. So heads occurred once, twice. So my answer will be 2 over number of trials. We conducted this experiment five times. So I'm going to say 2 over 5. The probability scale is a scale that ranges from 0 to 1. If the probability of an event is impossible, then we say that probability is equal to 0. If the probability of an event is certain, then we say probability equals 1. Example, today is a Monday, and we are asked, what is the probability that tomorrow will be a Sunday? So then you'd say probability equals zero because that event is impossible. If today is a Monday and the question is, what is the probability that tomorrow will be a Tuesday? So in that case, we're going to say probability equals one because that event is certain. As the probability of an event approaches one, that event becomes more likely to occur. As the probability of an event gets closer to zero, then that event is less likely to occur. Example, Lee sells black and red backpacks. The backpacks come in two sizes, namely large and small. Question one says, draw a tree diagram to show all possible outcomes. So when drawing my tree diagram, the number of branches on the tree diagram is directly related to the number of outcomes. So in my question, I have black and red backpacks, just two. 
So I'm going to have two branches on my tree diagram. So one for black and my other option is red. Now, if I decide to go with the black backpack, again, I have two options. So there's two branches. I can either go with large or small. If I decide to choose the red backpack, again, I have two options, either large or small. Now, from my tree diagram, I'm going to list all possible outcomes. To do, to do this, I follow the branches on the tree diagram. So I'm going to say black, large, or I could go with the black backpack and a small. My second option would be red, large, or I could go with red, small. So a possible question is, what is the probability of choosing a black backpack that is large? So now I go through all my outcomes. Black large appears once. So number of ways an event can occur. So that's one over number of possible outcomes. So altogether, I have one, two, three, four outcomes. So the prob probability of choosing a black backpack that is large is one over four. Write your answer as a decimal. In that case, I'm going to say the probability equals to 0, 0,25. Write your answer as a percentage. I'd say 1 over 4 times 100. My percentage is 25%. Question 2. Same question, but now draw a two-way table to show all possible outcomes. So my two-way table, I've got black backpack and red. My sizes, large and small. Now to complete my table, I'm going to say B, L, and then B, S. Then I've got red, R, L, and R, S. So notice that the outcomes listed on the two-way table and the outcomes from the tree diagram is exactly the same. So I can use either a tree diagram or a two-way table to show all possible outcomes. Likewise, from this two-way table, I could ask, what is the probability of choosing a black backpack that is large? So in that case, you're going to say number of ways an event can occur. BL appears once over number of possible outcomes. My outcomes, one, two, three, four. So my answer, again, would be one over four.